Okay, this is Big Baby J with a new episode of Final Fantasy 3. I just got through completing my job levels and I learned a valuable lesson. Some uh, job doesn't matter if you are level 99, you're still gonna get penalized. Look at Raphia, she is job level 99 and her stats has been reduced why I don't know but my understanding was once you get job level 99 your stats do not reduce but as you see here it has and if you look at all her other jobs you will see that they're all level 99 okay so I don't know the mechanics behind it, but as I, as you see, there are some exceptions to the rule. Now, we got Rafi, I got her as a Vout, which is a beefed up white mage. Lunith is a Sage. What a Sage does, it has the ability to cast white magic, black magic, and also a summon. I also have Ag Ignis as a sage as well, which I probably need to change him into a Magus. Yeah, let's change him to a Magus. I didn't get penalized this time. Alright, and his equipment. Uh, you can use Feather Hat because that's the best hat I have at the moment. And the best robe he can use is black robe. And I also have protect ring. Now, uh, Ark here is a uh, summoner. He can use all the equipment of a white mage and black mage. Same follows with a uh, sage. Can use all equipment as white mage and black mage. Whereas white mage can use a white robe, not a black robe, but a white robe, and a magus can use a black robe, can, but cannot use a white robe. Uh, the uh, sage can use both. You can use white robe or black robe, whichever you prefer. And if you notice, I got four protect rings. Uh, if you're wondering how I got protect rings, well, I went to the ancient maze first, um, and I fought the king behemoth three times. I already had one protect ring, fought the behemoth three times, and stole those other three protect rings. So I'm not going to show these guys in battle because, well, they basically are what they are. Basically, white mage, black mage, sage, and summoner. You you, you all know what they do. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, Raphia into a knight. Not knight. Ninja is what I want. And, it, yeah. Now, see, here's the thing. Now, her battle phase is seven. Seven battle phases. I, I'm not getting the, the gist of this, but as you see, her level is 99. Job level is 99. So... It is what it is. Now the rest of my folks, I'm going to change them over to black belts. Okay, and I got a, I got a tag for that as well. Three battle phases. Okay. Uh, this one don't get no battle phase. Why I don't know. But it is what it is. Now, the ninja, on the other hand, can equip all the weapons of a Dark Knight. So, you can give her the best sword I have on hand at the moment. Let me see here. Yeah, the best sword I have at the moment. And they also can use boomerangs and, yeah, basically those throwing weapons. You can use those in the back row. But we're going to use these right here. And we finish equipping her and she can also use the uh, chakra band and Genji hammer. We're gonna give the Genji armor though and we're gonna give her where is it 
I'm gonna get her my protect ring. The black belt, on the other hand, I'm not gonna give them a weapon. They, they can use the chakra band and the black belt gi. Why would I give you a feather hat? Don't know. But anyway. Now, the monk is the hardest dealer in the game. That highest damage dealer in the game. So keep that in mind. It might not be the best job, but the high, it is the highest damage dealer in the game. Look at the attack. No weapon equipped. And the attack is 322. That's barehanded. Okay? So keep that in mind. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I don't want this ship. I'm going to show you about the ninja and the black belt. And yes, I do have them in the back row, by the way. Wait a minute, hold on. It's best I show you my achievement first with the monk. That's the highest uh, damage I've done with the monk. If I go over here to this Moogle here and go to my achievements, you see it's my highest damage at this point is 22,730. The highest damage at this point. Okay? So, now, from the back row, not the front row, but the back row, as you see, they are in the back row. If I change formation, I put her in the front, but she's going to stay in the back. Okay, I'm gonna keep him in the back. And we're gonna go here to this little uh, area where we fought Odin area earlier. I'm gonna show you what we can do with these uh, black belts and why I like them so much. Now, when you look at it in terms of strength, I would say the monk is a sand, a regular sand. And if you watch Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm talking about. The black belt, on the other hand, will be your Super Saiyan. Okay? So, let's throw a weapon out real quick. And I'm going to throw the dagger. I don't too much care for the dagger, but I'm going to throw it anyway. But that's the ability a ninja has. Now, here's where the black belt come in. I said the monk was the Saiyan. Well, the black belt's are Super Saiyans. You know how Super Saiyans fire up, right? But well, check this out. Watch how they fire themselves up. With a dagger, I did 3,000 damage just throwing it. Look, he's powering up. Powering up. See, I'm in the back row not doing very much damage. Now we're going to have this ninja guard here for a second. We're going to boost one more time. I guess you can say now I'm either at a Super Saiyan 2 or a Super Saiyan 3. Okay? From the back row. Now, don't boost past 2. Because if you do, I'm going to give you a demonstration. If, if it happens, I'm going to have, well, skip it, because I'm just going to go ahead and have them attack. You guard, attack, attack, and attack. It's going to show 9999. Okay? That's what you get. Now, let's run back to the ship, and we're going to look at what kind of damage I did at this point. Let's go look at my achievements now. And my achievement says I have done 31,296 max damage and mind you folks that was from the back row not the front row but the back row so yeah and what if I'd have done a critical hit 
It'd probably be more than that. So let me change my ninja girl into a black belt. And you know what? I forgot. They also uh, was penalized as well. So they wasn't even at uh, max power. So it is what it is. So that is the power of my monk, my, uh, excuse me, black belts, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and rest up, and uh, I'm going to end this episode here, and also, I forgot, once you get everybody job levels at 99, I got a trophy, jack of all trades, I did not know that, but hey, you get all their jobs at maxed out, you get a trophy for the uh, jack of all trades. So what I'm gonna do now is, wait, 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 hold on. Before I end it, let me sit up for this right here. Talk to my mod Nick. Nothing for uh, Raffia. What do we got here? Let's change formations. Nope, not that. That. Nothing new here. Okay. Nothing new here. Oh, I got one from, uh, from, uh, Ark. Got one for Alice. Seronia today. It has been a while since Father Hat was, has gone, but Seronia is not flourishing in its newfound peace. You should visit us again sometime. And I got another message. The Nautilus. How has the Nautilus served you so far? The engineers assure me that it should not be, should not budge an inch, even when flying against the strongest gale. Yeah, I found that out a long time ago. Okay. But there is one note of interest right here. If you look at Sid, I've checked this out. There's another side quest that has opened up to me. Mrs. Sid came running up from the basement today, all scared like. She said she saw something big lurking in the shadows. I hope we don't have a monster down there. Okay. What that means is that Sid has trouble in the basement. Let me go ahead and equip my folks to the roof front. First, put Rafi in the lead. Put them all in the front lines. All right. So now we're gonna make our way over to see it. There's three quests I want to take care of in the next episode. So all I'm going to do is get myself prepared for it. So I'm gonna take this ship on over there and. Uh, yeah. Oh, I went too far. Okay, come back this way. I want to take care of Bahamut, Leviathan, and this quest I'm going to look into now will be the quest for the Orichalcum. That's Leviathan, by the way. I could park here. You know what? Let's just do that. I'm gonna save it here. And uh, we'll, we'll pick up with Leviathan first. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time where we enter and take over Leviathan's house. Y'all take care.